Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be reviewing a 2016 BMW X1 with 39,000 miles on it. For 2016, the BMW X1 received a small facelift, which gave it more aggressive bodywork, a longer back seat, and got rid of the old high output six cylinder for a more efficient two liter four cylinder. But more on that later. Starting with the exterior styling, the 2016 revision gave the X1 more aggressive styling, including new headlights, A revised front fascia, new a new side, and revised taillights and rear bumper. It also revised the interior, which got rid of some of the old dated orange displays. Getting inside is extremely easy, and once you're in, you're greeted by a very nice interior. If you push the ignition, everything comes to life. It has a good sound system and it's a very comfortable driving position. As you can see, it has 39,000 miles on it, and the rev limiter is at 7,000 RPM. The speedometer goes up to 160 miles an hour, and it has this switch right here, which can go from sport normal or comfort, as BMW calls it, and Eco Pro, which is the most efficient of these settings. Fun fact about Eco Pro: it, when you switch it into Eco Pro in the gauge cluster, it tells you how many miles per gallon you're gaining, and it shows you a little bar which shows you how many what you should be keeping the car at. It also shows when you're switching modes. Gone are the old dated orange displays down here, and are instead replaced with some really nice feeling buttons and switches. You have all your air conditioning settings, CD player, 8 discs, and you have a new screen. This is BMW's iDrive system, which you control with this little wheel down here. The BMW X1 also uses a 8-speed automatic with Steptronic shifting mode. That helps go with the 2-liter, 228 horsepower, 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder, which has a slight amount of turbo lag, decreased in sport. The X1 also has a power rear lift gate. Under here, you'll find storage and a spare tire. Here, you'll find an, a manual and just more storage. It's all carpeted very nicely with nets on the sides. And this cargo divider, comes down or up depending on which position the tailgate's in. You can also detach it for extra cargo room. The X1 also has this convenient little sticker telling you where to call if you need BMW's roadside assistance and buttons. This one lowers the tailgate and this one locks the car and lowers the tailgate. Leg room is pretty decent in the back of the X1. It also has automatic power windows in the front and rear. This car is equipped with a mocha brown interior, and if you hold this down, you get a nice storage of cup holders. Oddly satisfied, open, close. And a small but usable center console. It has room for five and seats them all comfortably. Standard cigarette lighter outlet back here. And of course, the X1 came with this little adapter for charging your phone. It has adjustable air conditioning vents, which, which let you uh, decide how much air you want, but you do not get to control the temperature. The car also, when you're parked here, you can see it has a panoramic sunroof, although it's covered up by the power cloth cover. Aluminum, or aluminium, depending on how you call it, with nice wood. Also, 
It has ambient lighting, which can be orange or white. The door handle is also finished in aluminum. And the door sills say BMW. This car is the X-Drive model, which if you didn't know, is BMW's all-wheel drive system. The 2016 X1 also featured a front-wheel drive platform, but the all-wheel drive is usually better. It does 0 to 60 in 6.5 to 6.3 seconds if you have the all-wheel drive, and it makes 228 horsepower. It has power front seats, passenger and driver with lumbar support, and two memory settings. The X1's hood opens really easily. Like most modern BMWs, you just have to pull this latch two times. It has a little diagram showing it. And the hood pops right open without you having to fiddle with a latch. The hood opens extremely easily, and now you can gaze at the glorious twin power turbo engine. 228 horsepower. Even though it says twin power turbo, it's actually only a single turbo. That's just BMW's name for it. Also, it has this nice crossbar tying the front suspension together, and the intake is directly next to the engine. Shield washer fluid is on the left of the engine. Oil is directly on top of the engine, and it has a nice little BMW badge to remind you what you're driving. The engine shares many similarities with many Mini Cooper engines because BMW owns Mini. The BMW X1 has a valved exhaust. You can see the red exhaust has a valve that opens at 6,000 RPM, and the left has no valve, which allows it to be opened all the time. All right, let's start it up and see how they sound. X1 is fitted with five spoke Y pattern 21 inch wheels and wrapping the wheels are Pirelli Cinturato P7 all season tires. The car features all LED headlights and running lights and a nice little touch right here BMW by these three little LEDs. It has a nice strong radio system. A new one, sort of from Weezer uh, to Africa, the old Toto song. I heard they cut another one too. The speedometer is dominated by miles an hour with kilometers an hour taking smaller text. It has, the speedometer goes up to 160 miles an hour or 260 kilometers an hour. And this car usually gets about 30 miles per gallon. And off position for the auto start stop. So when you stop at a stoplight or a stop sign, the car shuts off to save fuel. And it has an MPG meter that goes all the way past 50. This is me editing it later. Sorry about the audio cutouts in this part. We're just talking about the perforations out. on the seats. Replacing the old orange pixelated display is a new white, more less pixelated display. Nowadays it has power locks, power windows, and power mirrors. It also has three stage heated front seats. Starts at three, goes to two, one, stops. This concludes the review of the 2016 BMW X1. Thank you so much for tuning in everyone, and I'll see you next time.